Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Cosmic Culture, the channel where we talk all things major movie and television news, theories, breakdowns, and much, much more. I, of course, am your host, Chris, and I just had the pleasure of watching the first four episodes of the She-Hulk series, which is coming out later this week, and I personally believe is cause for a ton of excitement. Now, later on tonight, you will be getting other reviews from other YouTubers and critics in the Marvel Universe and the Marvel area, some of your favorites like the Cosmic Wonder, the Real Rejects, and many others who attended the red carpet event tonight. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to make it, but Disney was still kind enough to send me off personal screeners for four episodes. So here is my initial reaction. This isn't a review. The review embargo doesn't lift until the 17th. So look out for that video as well. This one will simply be a spoiler-free reaction, my initial thoughts, and kind of wrapping my head around the direction that She-Hulk is taking us, not only in the MCU, but for Disney Plus projects. So if you love to stay up to date on all major movie and television news, especially Marvel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of those updates. Live watch parties are coming back, guys. Nine She-Hulk episodes coming, as well as breakdowns, theories, Easter eggs, and let me tell you something. Big connections coming from Disney Plus series, She-Hulk, moving forward in the MCU. Now, this is something at length that has been discussed. Kevin Feige for Evergo, back when the Disney Plus series started coming out, was talking about how you have to watch the Disney Plus series in order to make the connection over to the MCU. Now, for whatever reason, whether they were testing the water with them, trying to see how many views they would get, if there was going to be a good enough following from the MCU movies to the Disney Plus, originally... The series really haven't had a massive impact on the main MCU storyline. Now, don't get me wrong, we've had very big developments like in WandaVision, where everything led to Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, of Wanda becoming the Scarlet Witch and getting the Darkhold. These were pertinent details, but you could have survived if you didn't necessarily know all of them. Loki as well was a huge stepping stone for Disney Plus and for the MCU, introducing how the multiverse works, the existence of the multiverse, and then kind of the cataclysmic destruction of it, which allowed all of these variants, multiverse of madness, and different storylines like Spider-Man No Way Home to happen and to exist. So very important details are happening, but what we haven't seen in the Disney Plus series so far, which is an absolute treat up to this point in She-Hulk, are massive and major cameos. We haven't been able to see Doctor Strange interact in the Scarlet Witch parts of WandaVision, or we weren't able to see different multiverse cameos happening outside of Loki. Just really Loki was all we saw, and the characters that were pertinent to the storyline. Even Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Hawkeye, no major cameos outside of a reference here or there. Moon Knight, for example, only had two references to the entirety of the MCU, otherwise it was a completely solo project. They talked about New Asgard on a book, and they also mentioned Madripoor, which we saw in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. But again, no massive cameos or even huge references to the MCU, to the snap, to the future of the MCU. It's been a little bit, people would call it, bland. Personally, sitting here looking back, I think the Disney Plus series have been a lot of fun. But She-Hulk adds a new element. And that, I think, is the biggest reaction that you're going to hear from a lot of people, including myself, is that new element that really connects the bridge between the Disney Plus series and the MCU movies. That's super fun. Cameos, like, not spoilers at all, if you've seen the trailers, Wong, he's going to show up. A lot of new characters, again, that they've demonstrated in the trailer, who will be making appearances and being involved and and abominations involved, and all of these cool things that the trailer is teased at us, and then when the actual show's happening, they go above and beyond even that. The She-Hulk breaking the fourth wall, again, something they showed us in the trailer. Absolutely awesome. It gets me so excited for Deadpool, which, just around the corner by the way, and will be happening in the MCU. There are a lot of fun aspects to this series. There's a lot of comedy, there's a lot of, you know, serious moments, then, and then not so serious moments. They do a really good job doing what Marvel does, combining serious with a little bit of comedic timing, introducing a new character in a new title series, She-Hulk, which has been successful in my opinion with Moon Knight and other characters, Miss Marvel, characters who haven't been in the MCU and then are given an introduction and an origin story through episodes. Now we get nine with She-Hulk and I've only seen the first four, so I am really excited to see where the remaining more than half of the series goes and I can't wait to watch it alongside with you guys. I know a lot of you guys are very well aware, and I know just as well as you guys, that there are a lot of rumors about some of the potential things we might be seeing in She-Hulk. Now, as those things start to progress, 
Wherever the future of this series and of this character brings us, we do know that in the Multiverse Saga, thanks to San Diego Comic-Con, we're headed towards Secret Wars, the Kang Dynasty, the Fantastic Four are coming. We're hoping to get some X-Men reveals and updates during the D23 event later on in September. So hopefully a lot of these things will start being brought to light. And now that we have that end game connection, we'll call it the Secret Wars connection, we know we're headed towards this big event for phase six. It gives us a lot of reason to be excited as we end phase four and go into phase five. A lot of building that's going to happen over a very, very short period of time. And yeah, a lot of people have been arguing that maybe it's too short of a period of time. The, the first three phases lasted 15 years and we're going to be into phase six in no time. But Marvel is dropping so many more projects. Before we were getting two, maybe three movies a year. Now we're getting four, maybe five movies a year, as well as four, maybe five Disney Plus projects, as well as shorts. So a lot of content for us to try to absorb in a very small amount of time. And She-Hulk, I think, in my, my opinion, my first reaction to watching those first episodes, does a really good job of lightening all of that content. It connects a lot of dots. And I think that's something that Disney Plus needed to do. Actually, when the end of Miss Marvel happened, we did get that post credit scene where Carol Danvers showed up at the very, very end. And we're going to have Captain Marvel and Miss Marvel together in the Marvels, a Phase 5 movie and project coming to us, which I think will be pretty exciting, connecting all sorts of different relics, potentially Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, so many other fun things that will be happening. But we had conversations. You guys, us, live, talking with Ali from Marvel Minute News, talking with Warren from Cosmic Wonder. We were talking about how She-Hulk actually has to produce some type of big cameo in the show or some type of big connection because these these disney plus projects have been fun but they've been lacking something some type of secret spice and my reaction to you guys is that that secret spice has been added we're seeing something that we haven't really seen in the disney plus projects thus far we've had some really fun disney plus projects loki introducing all sorts of different versions of loki and hitting us with a little bit of that wow factor of seeing variants for the first time Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness did the same thing. We met an entire new group, the Illuminati, with John Krasinski, Professor X, and many others. And although they're all dead, it was really cool to see them for that very brief moment before the Scarlet Witch KO'd everybody in, in the matter of six minutes. But the MCU is headed somewhere crazy with Secret Wars, with variants and multiverses and... and, and <laughs> it's gonna be wild. So She-Hulk gives us a very brief peek into what really might it feel like to be in the multiverse so okay. phase four was a building phase guys be patient enjoy the rest of it we only have two more projects she hulk and black panther wakanda forever and then we're moving into phase five which it's going to start getting a little bit meatier and start adding even more depth and story the one thing that i'm very happy for with phase four is there was no rush this was a building phase following the infinity saga following endgame which was just a magnificent cinematic moment in all of our lives and people have been a little hypercritical i'll say 100 percent people waiting for the big connection and what's the big story and where's the big bad and where's this cameo and why aren't there team up events and we're starting over and i think kevin feige disney and marvel studios have done a great job showing us where we're headed unequivocally the multiverse saga will head into a direction that does end up becoming even bigger with more characters bigger moments bigger team ups in the future so i hope you're excited for she hulk i hope you can look past some of its less exciting moments maybe i'll call them not necessarily moments in the story but just issues that i already know people are going to complain about they're there and uh on the 17th we'll talk about that a little bit more and then during the live watch parties we can discuss that as well but i'm hoping that you guys have the patience as fans to look past some of those issues and some of those questions because i do believe they will be resolved in the future of the mcu and i hope you're able to have a really good time with it but um let me know what you guys think how was my reaction? Are you now excited or a little bit more worried for She-Hulk that you've seen it? Let me know your thoughts for all this in the comment section down below. As always, thank you to everybody who watched to the very end of the video. If you found it helpful, useful, or entertaining, consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell. And you already know we'll be catching you guys on the next one right here on Cosmic Culture.